Hi everyone and welcome back to CGI Backgrounds. My name is David Bayliss and today we will be looking at the new features of CGI Backgrounds which are the 3D scenes. So in my homepage I'm going to do a classic search here which I have my HDRIs but if we look carefully on the top left we have two new tabs now 3D scenes and 3D backgrounds. In this video we'll be looking at the 3D scenes first. Now I'm going to be picking one of my favorite environments which is the racetrack here. So as soon as I click on that this will open up the page for me and I can navigate through the different thumbnails. I can check the different lighting, the different angles and really this gives me an idea of what I will be seeing in my DCC app. All right, so very satisfied with the preview that I have here. I'm gonna go ahead and select my version. So I can select between four DCC apps and today we'll be choosing Unreal Engine. Now, in the engine version, I can choose between 5.3 and 5.4. If the latest version isn't available yet, don't worry. Download the one that is closest, in my case 5.4, and we're going to later upgrade that in the File Explorer. Simply hit download and I'll see you shortly. All right, so once my project downloaded, I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. I can see the project structure and open up the U project. Now, before I do that, I do want to upgrade to 5.5. So I'm gonna right click here and I'm gonna switch Unreal versions. And you can apply this method ongoing with the future releases. Now, once that's done, I can double click and open up the project. Okay, so here we are inside Unreal Engine 5.5 using Lumen, and this is one of the maps that we are greeted with. Now, to better put that in perspective and to see exactly what is happening, let's switch to lit wireframe mode and really see what the team at CGI Background has done here. They've basically projected the HDRIs onto 3D planes which means that you can go in the scene and not have any parallax issues or any stretching going on. You can move around freely around the objects and still have that accuracy and accurate lighting and shadows on your objects. Now, typically in each package that you download, you'll have a Lumen version and a Path Tracer version. For example, this level is optimized for path tracing and to have the best lighting. In addition to these two levels, you'll also have the option to have a tone mapped version. So this version, for example, has the tone mapped lighting, both available in ray tracing and lumen. Okay, so I'll be using the path trace level in my case. Feel free to use whatever suits you the best. I have put my car in a sub-level, which I'll be loading right now. And as you can see, it is as easy as that. Drag and drop your objects and there's no extra lighting required because this is relying on the Ray HDR technology, making it look natural and blend in with the environments perfectly. You can spin around the car as much as you want and you're not going to get any parallax issue or stretching going on the image, which was an issue previously if you were just relying on the HDRI dome. Traditionally, you would have to drop in a HDRI backdrop, load in the HDRI, drop in your object, and then play with the size of the dome to find that nice value between size and no stretchiness going on the image. Now, this would work on certain angles, but every time you would change the angle, you would change the size of the dome and rotation, so on and so on, and that is very time consuming. And your camera angle would be typically limited at low angles to avoid seeing that stretch. If you go up, well, these artifacts might appear. Now coming back to the 3D scenes, let's spin around the car a little bit, and we clearly see the difference here. It's as if the car was planted in the decor, and that is exactly what these 3D scenes are about. Now, if you want to take things a little further, you can play around with the depth of field with the camera and start navigating around the car. Let's switch over to the bigger viewport here and I'm just spinning around the car, just finding that perfect angle. And as you can see, there's absolutely no stretching going on. It's a full 360 view. I can just spin around freely, top view, 
front three quarter, rear three quarter, no issues at all. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one.